What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's so all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? What's going on? And in this segment of MTC, we're going to be looking at Anderson's Trucking Service. A-T-S. Yes, sir. If you guys want to know more about Anderson's Truck Services, A-T-S, the information will be in the description below. Let's see what Anderson's truck service has to offer for us drivers. Let's start off with the pay. You would get percentage with a CPM minimum. You will start off as a flatbed with 60 cent CPM or a van at 55 cent CPM, but you can actually get 28% of the line haul. The cent per mile is just the minimum. And what he has said in the conversation that I have, you can earn all the way up to like 91 cent a mile. All right. They got consistent freight. They offer average company driver pay is about 85 cent CPM. Pet policy, you can bring one cat or dog is allowed on the truck. Per diem at no cost to the driver. Increased tarp pay. 50 cent, 50% 50 over dimensional pay, guaranteed hold time every two weeks when requested, consistent miles, newer equipment, options to grow your career by hauling bigger freight, vacation pay, medical, dental, and vision insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, 401k profit sharing plan, Flexible spending accounts, employee assistant program, ELD in every trucks, APUs in every trucks, flights, car rentals, single room, and all meals at the orientation are covered. And they say you can bring your spouse. Only thing they require is the fact that you need to be 21 years of age, have your driver's license, at least six months of OTR verifiable experience, must meet DOT requirements, and must have a stable, verifiable work history and acceptable work record. All right, guys, what do you think of all that? Let's get into ATS. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Thank you for calling ATS Recruiting. My name is Robbie. How can I help you today? Hey, how you doing, Robbie? Um... All right, so a friend of mine uh, that drives for you guys uh, kind of hit me over to you uh, to see if, you know, to see what you guys have to offer. So I went to the website, and I noticed that uh, that you guys give us uh, a choice of 28 cent or I'm sorry, 28 percent of the line haul or we can or we can do CPM. Well, it's not a choice. You get the greater of the two on every load. But um, let's start with who who sent you over. I, I, I. He told me not to not to mention his name because he he he's not interested in the in in the referral bonus. But he just told he's me not to get, interested in two thousand dollars. Nah, he say he's not interested. He say he say he <laughs> rock, he say he rocks out. He he say he rocks out for you know for what he gets, not just for the for the referral bonus and nothing like that so but uh sure. but yeah. uh but okay. but you say but you say the greater of the two so what if we do like a yeah short, so uh, essentially you're getting essentially you're making 28 percent of the load and uh there's just a minimum cents per mile protection in place so if you get a load that, you know, on, on 28% of the load would pay like 40 cents a mile or something, if you got paid the percentage, then that's when that minimum CPM would kick in. Okay. Otherwise, our, our averages have been 91 to 96 cents a mile, somewhere in there, um, every week for about the last two year, two and a half years. Oh, okay. Now, does that, does that cent per mile slash percentage... Uh, is that coming into the door or is that for somebody that has like a year because I got seven years of experience that's coming in the door 
Oh, okay. So that's coming in the door. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So how much experience? Uh, how much experience do you guys require? Uh, depends on what you're looking to do. Company drivers, we require at least six months of recent over the road experience. Um, so, and, and we and we just jumped right in. So let let's start with let's back up a little bit and start with who, who am I speaking to? Okay, my name's Sean. And, Sean, okay. And, and and then where do you live, Sean? I'm out of Ohio. Okay. That's a good area for us. Okay. You got about seven years experience. So are you going to be looking into our dry band or our flatbed divisions? Uh well as far as as far as flatbed, do you have to come in with experience or do you guys train? Uh, we would train on the use of the open deck trailers as long as we meet all the other requirements, uh, securement and all that fun stuff. We would train on that part of it. Okay, so for a flatbed, uh, for somebody coming in, like with my years or something like that, do you guys have like like a training, like like a securement training type deal? Is it for all or just for person? Yeah, that's, my- that's what I just said. Is we would train, uh, we would train on the use of the securement and open deck trailers. Oh, okay. right during orientation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How how long how long is that? For a person like me that 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 uh, hasn't been flatbed before, orientation would be yeah, orientation would be four days, including securement. For a person like me that didn't have that don't have Correct. flatbed yep. experience, oh okay, all right, uh, all right. So uh, drive in pretty you know self explanatory. Uh, the difference I'm I went to your website, so there's a difference between flatbed and uh drive in as far as uh cpm goes right i think you guys is offering what 60 cent yeah. for for flatbed and 50 for drive in it's it's a nickel difference so it's 60 and 55 oh 60 and 55 okay 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 uh all right so pre- oh i'm sorry what you you was about to say something nope i just oh. said yep oh okay okay <laughs> Uh, pre-employment drug screening. What 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 is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? You've been driving for seven years. Yeah. Yeah. So that that, that wouldn't matter then, would it? Yeah. Yeah. It pretty much would. Okay. <laughs> so what is it? Okay. Is it both or is it is it both? There's only one DOT acceptable drug screen, and we and we do that test. But I'm not sure. Um, you know, I always get a little concerned when I get this question. Um, why, you know, uh, why would why, why would that you be? Know? <laughs> I mean, why would that be? Because some drivers, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter for me because I, I, you know, I'm clean. But why would that be? You know, why yep. why why would that be for you if a driver? has reservations on hair well, follicles. So because the reservation is usually because they go back, um, they, they can go back farther on the, on the hair follicle. Right. And if, uh, you know, somebody who's been driving seven years, um, they, they can't go back that far. Number one, um, number two, um, they can only go back about 30 days without it being costing a whole bunch more money. Uh, so the, the concern is, is what, what are we trying to get around if you've been driving for seven years? The, oh. That's why I'm always kind of a little bit apprehensive about it. Um, but, yeah, no, we just do the, the, the DOT urinalysis test. Oh, okay. That's really the only one that's truly accepted by the DOT. Right, right, right. But, you know, some companies uh, that I have called before, you know, they do both. You know, even if a person passed one and flunked mm-hmm. the other and all like that. It's it's a it's a deal breaker to most drivers though. Um all right, so what about the equipment that I'll be driving? Uh what Volvos? What 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 are the equipment and what are they governing that? Um so we're governed at sixty eight miles an hour and we run Freightliners, Peterbilts, and Volvos. All company trucks have fifteen and rotten inverters, auxiliary bunk heater, refrigerator, and an APU. Okay. 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 Awesome. What about driver cameras, though? Uh, outward facing cameras. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, all right. So, do you guys offer a 
you know, like a lease options, if if any, or no? Uh, we do have a lease program, yes. Um, okay. So I'd need to learn a little more. Uh, so, uh, so I live in Ohio, so it would be it is, now there's some more differences in, in the lease, um, whether you're doing van or flatbed. So um, wh- which one would you be leaning towards? Uh, probably van if I, if I decide to go lease. Okay. Sure. And then, um, so the last three years of driving here, has it just been with one company doing over the road or what's the last three years look like for you, Sean? Uh, all together, like four companies all together in the last seven years. Okay. Um, so yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> so that's different than the last three, but, um, okay. And, uh, so, and it's been over the road, right, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so we, we do have a lease program. Uh, I mean, Tell, tell me, I mean, what, what's important to you? I mean, are you looking to do the lease? Have you done a lease before? Let's start there. I have done, I have done lease. I uh, did it for about a year. <laughs> Issues with the pay. Let's put it like that. But what you guys got to offer as far as the lease goes, like I'm sure it's more than 60 cent. What, what, what is it on your part? Yeah. We pay a percentage, 65% of the line haul, and then the pluses. Um, Things like uh, we pass along 100% of the fuel surcharge. We've got fuel discounts at all five of the major truck stops. You do pull our trailers with no trailer rental or maintenance fees. And then we also take care of plates and permits as well. Is it it lease option to own or no? Yep. Yeah, it's an actual lease. It's not a rental. Um, so uh, the initial lease in the van division is a two-year lease. So no money down, no credit check, two-year lease. At the end of two years, you get an $8,000 completion bonus. And then you'll have to figure out what you want to do from there. Um, you can uh, uh, extend the lease and work towards paying the truck off that way. You can pay the, the balloon payment. Um, or you can also, uh, let's say you get to the end of the two years and you, you're, you want to stay at ATS, but you just want something different for a truck, tired of looking at the same dash, whatever the case might be. Um, you, you have the option to get out of that truck and into something different because we own both a dealership and a leasing company as well. So there is a balloon payment afterwards. Is this a walkaway lease or no? It is a walkaway lease, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you're obviously not going to pay off a truck in two years. Oh, of course not. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Um, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? One rider over the age of 10, one cat or dog. All right, cool. Um, well, you know, I got some... Uh, some truck driver friends, you know, this could probably a roll back to what we was talking about the the uh, the hair follicle test and all like that. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No. Okay. And is there a sign on bonus? One thousand dollars paid out. Five hundred at first dispatch for lease drivers. Five hundred at thirty days. Um, company drivers are paid out 500 at 30, 500 at 60 days. All right. All right. Okay. Well, this, uh, this is about all I got. I mean, I was shared, you know, it, okay. six, 60 cent a mile is maybe a little bit too small for me, <laughs> you know, but, um, but it's I good. have some. It's good because that's not the way, that's good because that's not the way we pay. <laughs> I got uh I got some driver friends that uh that might be interested. So I'll I'll just go ahead and pass the information on to them and uh and let them know how to ninety one cents a mile is what you can tell them. So ninety Okay. Why why isn't that on your website? I mean on your website it says sixty and fifty five. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it says twenty eight percent of the load. Uh, yeah, with but the minimum all... sense per mile protection, and and maybe 
do a good enough job of explaining it. But when, when I said you get paid 28% of the load, well, uh, I mean, but we from, have the minimum CPM in place to well, protect yourself. I mean, um, it, 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 it don't say it, it, it don't say it like that, sir. It says, uh, 28% of the line haul with, uh, it says 28% of the line haul. And then flatbed starts at 60 CPM minimum and 55 CPM minimum. Oh, okay. There. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, I miss, I misread my fault. My fault. All right. So 28, <laughs> my, okay. My, my bad, my bad. Uh, 28% of the line haul with cent per mile minimum. Okay. A lot of, a lot of drivers such as yep. myself don't don't understand that, but it don't say it don't say anywhere where it says ninety one cent though. <laughs> it says well, because that, that's, that's our average. So and those and and those oh go ahead. Yep, and those change. So when when, when we first started doing this uh, in late two thousand nineteen, mm -hmm. actually we started this in May of two thousand nineteen. But when we start, started running the weekly averages. At mm -hmm. that point in 2019, we were every week we were at or above 85 cents a mile. Oh, okay. Um, since May of 2020, you know when we had that initial shock from COVID, when we came out of the backside of that, right? Um, we every week um, since May of 2020, so you know two and a half years, um, every week has been between 91 and a dollar 12 a mile. Um, it, Late there in uh, 2021, we had a lot of weeks we were between a dollar five and a dollar twelve a mile. Mm -hmm. That was kind of short lived; it lasted about six, eight months, something like that. Um, but okay. the rest of the time has always been every single week above ninety one cents a mile every single week. Okay, okay, that's okay. That's better, better explained. Okay, I'll definitely share this. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely share this over to my uh, network of drivers. Um, Lease and the company side, is there benefits for both or just the company? Yeah, you know, we, we have company sponsored benefits for our company drivers. The lease side, um, there's uh, there's benefits, but it's through a third party company called UTBA, which, you know, they, they work with not just ATS drivers, they're nationwide. It's just Universal Truckers Benefits Association is what it is. Gotcha. It's uh, it's going to be similar to like uh, if if you talk to other people, maybe OIDA is something that uh, um, uh, other owner operators have heard about, but uh, UTBA is similar. So all just right. a third party benefits company. All right, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I will share this with uh, with my social media guys and all like that. Maybe they might be interested in coming over to you guys. Little, you know, from what I make right now will probably not be in conducive for me to move over, but I'm always looking, though. Cool. Well, listen, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. And if you got any other questions, uh, don't hesitate to call. My name's Robbie. Not a problem, big man. Thank you very much. Have a good day, Sean. Drivers, thoughts. What's your thoughts, drivers, drivers? What is your thoughts on ATS? Yes, sir. I, I think the conversation kind of kind of wayward a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess he probably caught on to me just window shopping. So I guess that's why he kind of like kind of like pulled back a little bit. But we when we got into the groove, I, I think the conversation went cool. I mean, he, he gave us some some good information uh as far as the pay um as he said before there is a 28 percent of the line haul but if you don't make that you can you you can get the guarantee and the guarantee is 64 van and 55 uh i'm sorry 64 flatbed and 55 for van all right, so if you guys are interested in ATS, the information for you guys will be in the description below. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. And guys, if you drive or driven for ATS, let me know in the comments below so we can find out how's the experience with you with ATS. 
Shout out to the subscriber, my man Ronnie, for suggesting the call. If you guys want, if you guys want me to make the call to a company, definitely get your suggestions in for the next call. All right, that's all I have to say about ATS. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next one. Big G's got it locked, boy.